Okay guys, let's get started making our cake delivery box. Uh, what you're going to need is a box. This is a 10 by 10 um, box that I get from Uline.com, but you can get your box from like a moving store or from Walmart. Just make sure it's a nice tall box, um, you know, taller than your cake. Uh, if you get them from Uline, they come in big packages of them. Uh, so if you, sh you, uh, you know, need a lot of boxes, that's a good place to get them for cheap. So the first thing we're going to do is tape up the bottom of our box. I'm going to use some clear packing tape that looks nice and it's pretty strong. And I'm just going to go ahead and pretty much cover the entire bottom of this box with clear packing tape so that the uh, cake doesn't fall out the bottom because that would be bad, right? <laughs> So once you have the uh, bottom all taped up, we're going to use an X-Acto blade to cut down the corners of the front side of the box. Just going to pre-fold the top part here. You could also cut some handles into the sides of this box if you needed to, but just keep in mind that that will affect the um, uh, insulation purposes of this box. So the nice thing about this uh, cardboard box, aside from making it easier to transport your cake, is it actually insulates the cake. So I've driven up to four hours with a chilled cake inside just a cardboard box and it has stayed chilled inside this box just fine. So now we're going to tape down the bottom flaps inside just with another couple pieces of tape. And this just keeps those from flipping up and um, uh, affecting how the cake is sitting inside the box. And remember, you can reuse these boxes over and over, as long as they're not getting dirty or anything, to deliver any other cakes. You can also get really tall boxes if you wanted to like deliver a stacked wedding cake. So, I mean, it's really, it's really nice to get the, the, the big tall boxes for that purpose. And I try and make sure that the box is about the same size as the board of my cake. So if I'm making a 8-inch uh, cake and it's sitting on a 10-inch board, then I want my box to be 10 inches so it doesn't slide around inside the box. But if your box was bigger than your cake board, you could put down some like little glue down some pieces of styrofoam around the edges of the cake board so it doesn't slide when you put your cake in there. So that's it. Our box is all ready for our cake. We're going to slide the finished cake just right in there. A client's coming to pick this guy up, so I'm putting him in a box so that he's easily transportable. The front flap just slides right in there. And now our cake is ready to be transported, and it's conditioned, and it's going to stay nice and chilled. It's very convenient for the client. They appreciate being able to carry the cake around and not bump the edges at all and they can easily just open up the front flap, take out the finished cake, and uh, enjoy. And that's all there is to it, guys, to making your own cake delivery box.